We're here in Italy and uh, over the last two weeks we've been enjoying real Italian coffee and it's very different to what we would have back in Australia and we wanted to share it with you. So let's see if we can get into Cafe Gucci here and uh, show you what they're doing every single day from a barista's perspective. In a jungle, two way cafe no matter what. macchiato soia, due macchiati, macchiato uno, macchiato due, due caffè tuoi, cappuccino, a cafe latte, an espresso at the bar. Uh, we've got two croissants and it's 16.60 euro. And the gentleman who was serving uh, said it would give another six euro if we sat down for the service. Beautiful. Yeah. We'll give that a taste, eh? Yeah. So it's a very dark roast. Very bold. Um, the bitterness is coming through. The body is huge. There's not a lot of sweetness. But it's been what we're experiencing everywhere lately in the Italian espresso, for sure. Yeah, very roasty. Excuse me. Uh, espresso, cappuccino, latte macchiato. Macchiato. Latte macchiato. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Okay. Grazie. So we've got a latte macchiato to come up here. So here we have the cafe latte, 
and the cappuccino. Mm. It's amazing. Every croissant we've had is not like what we have normally. Our croissants are very buttery and rich. These are light, fluffy, flaky. And that's how they can make them into a savory with some prosciutto and boccaccini. Or they can put the Nutella or pistachio paste inside and make it sweet. They're fantastic. And about a plain croissant with Nutella in it is about 120 euro. Well, there you have it. It's a very different experience to have an espresso or a cappuccino or a latte in an Italian espresso bar. So we ordered and had it at the bar, and that is a cheaper cost. It was 16.60 to have it uh, on the bar with our um, our croissants. If we had have sat down, it was going to cost us six euro more because we were going to get the service. So it's very popular to, to get a quick espresso, have it at the bar, and then off to work and have that multiple times. In the morning, they have the milk, like a cappuccino or a caffè latte, and then for the afternoons, it's only espresso. Now, these two baristas here have been flat out for hours, and they're very good at what they do. You can see they're very quick at getting a dose into their handle, tamping, whether they're using a single basket or a double basket, splitting those into cups, and seamlessly passing it off to the other barista to serve it to the bar or the tables that are waiting for their coffee. They tend to froth the milk up and, and use that same jug for multiple coffees, whether it's a latte or a cappuccino. So really it's just about espresso and milk. It's really how they view the lattes or cappuccinos. It's, it's not what we would do in the variations of foam and, and chocolate on top of our cappuccinos. So uh, that whole culture, uh, from the way I see it, is what we would be doing um, some years ago in Australia. Perhaps 1990, mid-90s, something like that. Um, is what this coffee used to be like. And that's where the heritage has come from. We had a lot of Italian immigrants that have come into uh, to Victoria and had an amazing espresso culture, which is great. But from there, um, Australians have been able to take that culture and grow it to what we see today, to the specialty coffee, uh, measuring our doses, measuring uh, our extractions, uh, and making sure we get the milk spot on with latte art and all the things that we get to enjoy today. With the keen eyes there looking at how the baristas work, you would see that it's not things that we would do. We're you know, cleaning baskets and weighing and all the things we talk about. It's a very different thing. But it's what is standard here in Italy and so traditional. And you see that everywhere. Um, the one thing uh, which we found is if an Italian makes a mistake, they are just so genuine about it. They are passionate about their coffee. They're passionate about getting it right and giving amazing service. So in the two times we've been here, uh, one time we had an issue with the food and they would not let us pay for the whole meal. Today, when I went to pay, he missed just putting a zero on the end. So it would have been one 60 euro instead of 16 euro. And he wanted to give me free sweets and I wouldn't accept it. But uh, the passion uh, behind the coffee, behind their sweets and treats, it's just amazing. Would it be great to see this kind of food and this passion that we can bring into the industry because there is no doubt um, espresso is the heart and culture of Italy. So there you go, I hope you've enjoyed seeing what it's like to have real espresso and a real cappuccino in Italy. Uh, if you've got any questions, please pop them down below. I'd love to answer them because we've experienced so much and uh, we'd love to share more with you, uh, our experiences. Please do like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell because it will notify where you when we put up our latest video. We really appreciate it if you can share this video. We are pushing to try and get more subscribers so that we can keep doing this content. Uh, we've had an amazing time here in Italy. There's a lot of other videos there, so make sure you do check them out. Thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you next time. Cheers. It would be rude of us not to try their sweets. So we've got a little box here, a little sample box. And beautifully packaged. There we go, look at that. Whole range of different little tarts, pastries, and fillings. And all up, that was 10 euro. All right. I'm gonna give one of these a go. They are so good. Wow. Cream off.